There have been a number of improvements to the user interface in Revit 2011, but I think probably at the top of the list of those improvements is this new modeless properties palette. Uh, you'll see I've got it docked over here along with the project browser. It's also free floating and supports dual monitors in the same way that the project browser does. So we can see that I have nothing selected in my design area and under those conditions we see the properties of the view. We can also get to the type properties of any of the objects that we have selected as well. If I just go ahead and select this wall, we see that I've got immediate access to all of its parameters. I also have access to the type selector. Selecting multiple objects then gives me the editable properties of those common objects but I can also go and filter those out and you'll see now that I can make changes to those individual objects as well. A very nice new feature uh, and I think it will prove very useful to all of us.